The need for food assistance is always high during the holiday season, but this year food banks are seeing a greater need than ever, with more folks turning to pantries as they face higher food costs and fewer resources as pandemic relief aid runs out for families. Carlos Rodriguez is president and CEO of the Community Food Bank of New Jersey, the state's largest anti-hunger and anti-poverty organization. On this Giving Tuesday and as part of our ongoing series, Hunger in New Jersey, looking at food insecurity across the state, Rodriguez explains what is causing the higher than usual need and what folks can do to help out. Thank you for joining us, Carlos. Carlos, what is the need for food assistance looking like this year? So the need continues. I mean, the pandemic is, is far from over. Uh, we have about 800,000 New, New Jerseyans who still struggle with food insecurity, and that includes uh, 200,000 children. And unfortunately, we think that number is likely to increase as the pandemic, as many pandemic release, uh, relief measures run out, but also because of the uh, uh, pressure of food costs and other inflation that we're seeing um, throughout the state and throughout the country, quite frankly. Well, Carlos, you kind of touched on this, but with prices going up due to supply chain issues, what does that mean for customers and what does it mean for the food bank? So families are struggling um, at the local stores, paying anywhere between four to 10% uh, more for food alone, uh, but also just to get to their food with fuel costs uh, also going up. We hope these, this is temporary, but it could have for many families that are struggling, it can have a, 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 long, a long standing impact um, as they're still digging themselves out of a financial hardship from the last 20 months. So there's a lot of pressure on top of the pressure of being uh, in an unstable economic environment that the last 20 months has, has had on so many. And then for us, of course, we're still buying a tremendous amount of food. So we're looking to juggle uh, what's available, uh, what prices uh, make the most sense, because as stores have a continued problem with stocking their shelves, it, it continues to mean less donations for the food bank or disproportionate amount of, um, of food that we're still having to buy to make sure that we address the needs of everyone uh, in our 15 service county service area. And what food items are most impacted? Oh, so it range, it really does range. It's interesting. Uh, you know, sometimes it's an ingredient that has an impact across a number of different um, products. Um, uh, during this, this time of year, there was a, a, a strain on anything protein related, chickens and, and roasters and things like that. Uh, so it, it really does uh, vary, not just from the product or an ingredient in the product, but also the availability to get the product um, in-house and to our local communities in a timely way. Uh, Thanksgiving was just a few days away. Uh, and I can tell you, we were holding our breath, uh, making sure that the delivery of product that we were counting on would get here in time to get it to our local neighbors. You know, and as we mentioned, today is Giving Tuesday and there are a lot of folks looking to donate. So what's the best way for folks to help organizations like yours? So our, you know, here at Community Food Bank of New Jersey, our partnership and purchasing power, make donations of all sizes, really go a long way. No gift is too small, especially when you consider that a dollar helps support three nutritious meals. And a lot of that is because we're still bringing in more and more donations where available, but we're purchasing uh, in bulk and wholesale and in partnership with so many of our food industry partners um, throughout the state and throughout the country. So that dollar really helps us bring in as much um, uh, product as we need. More importantly, it helps to pay to get that product to our local pantries and our network of over 800 community partners throughout our 15 county service area. Just another reminder that no donation is too small. Carlos Rodriguez, thank you for speaking with us once again. Thank you, Raven. Have a great day. Funding for Hunger in New Jersey has been provided by the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation working with others to build a national culture of health that provides everyone in America a fair and just opportunity for health and well-being.